how, how much you've realized the importance of that as you've risen to this place, you know, to keep the day ones around you yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, you, you'll know this, it's lonely at the top, you know, but it's not if you bring the right people with you, the people that came up with you, the people that, you know, love you for you, you know, the people that know you from before you had money, before you were famous, you know? So um, I like to have them around to keep me grounded, to keep me grounded and just make sure I'm, I'm solid because they knew me before any of this shit happens. And, you know, it's hard because sometimes you, I, I've, I have fallen into the trap of having people who just agree with me. Yes, man, you know? And even my boy Chance, I'm glad like I have him around because sometimes I'm crazy. I don't always have the best ideas and I'll have an idea and he'll be like, nah. But like, okay, cool. I just needed someone to tell me no. But I'll put it out there. But if he's like, nah, we're not doing that. I'm like, okay, cool. Because then it just helps me. But if, if I have people around me who's like, uh, okay, sure. Then eventually it just makes me more powerful. And I just have to think like, oh yeah, you know, I'm the shit. I can mm. say whatever I want. And that's not, that's not healthy, man. I don't think that's healthy for the ego, you know? Mm. Yeah. Are you happy? Right now, yes. Yes, I'm very happy. Why'd you say right now? Because it's not lasting, it's fleeting. That's one thing I've also learned as well is... Well, you can't enjoy the sunshine without a little rain. And everything is temporary. Everything. Everything's forever changing. So even right now, I'm happy. I'm enjoying life. I love where I'm at. I love who I'm around. I love who I'm with. You know? I I know it's not, it's not lasting. Because guess what? Something's going to happen that's going to shake that up. Because back in the day, whenever this was happening, it was like a few good days. Mm. Things are too nice. Mm. Where's, yeah. where's the thing that's going to fuck me up? Yeah, but yeah, not, yeah. now I'm just like, this is nice. And I'll just sit in it and I'll just enjoy it. I enjoy the happiness and I enjoy what I'm doing. I enjoy where I'm at. And then when the bad thing comes, I'm like, ah, there it is. It's okay. This is going to pass as well. This too shall pass. Mm. So when I say, yeah, I'm happy right now, I'm happy, I'm very happy. Are you good at defending that happiness? Because because the amount of, you even described it when you came off after your debut, mm. the amount of people that are gonna wanna talk to you and do an interview in Israel, Israel. Yep. Are you good at saying, no, no, better. I'm better at it now. I never used to be. This is where I was talking about the people pleaser thing back in the day. And this is why this year, one of my things is I don't get fucked up around people I don't like, or I don't <laughs> know. Cause I realize when I get drunk, I'm too nice. I'm a friendly drunk. I'm like a fucking golden retriever <laughs> when I'm drunk. <laughs> or Black Labrador, I'm just like, hey, and, and not everyone's your friend. Not everyone wants the best for you, but they'll just take advantage and try and like, you know, I just let my boundaries get crossed too many times, you know, and I let people get too close, maybe like too, then the next day I'm just like, why the fuck did I let that person, you know, ah, fuck, I wish I'd said no to that. Mm. You know, then I start to like, they'll eat at me for the next few days. So yeah, um, I, I, I'm getting, I'm, it's practice, it's constantly evolving, but I know how to say no now. I just say, and I don't have to explain myself. I literally just say no, because when you're explaining yourself, you're losing. Mm -hmm. in, in the core of your being, do you mm -hmm. realize that you're a star? Yeah, I you always know? knew so. I, I, I knew I wasn't gonna be regular. I, I just knew like I was gonna be great at something. I didn't know what it was, but I knew I was gonna be great at something. I just knew. Even when I was working my, my last job, I just, I, I, I'm grateful for it because it showed me what I didn't want in life. I just knew this isn't for me. And what is that? Is that self-belief that gets you there? Or is that, so is it, is it you believing that you're going to be great that got you there? Or is it because you were innately destined to be great? I'm trying to figure out if it's something mm, that one- What came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. Hmm. There's levels. There's people like us, we're, we're crazy in the sense that we believe greatness and madness and next door neighbors and they just borrow each other's sugar once in a while. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. So there's a point like, I've used the story of me when I used to drive this beat up Honda and I'd shift the the gear stick and I'd just do this. You did this? <laughs> I literally, it was madness. I was me preparing for having a sports car, paddle shifts. So I'd shift the, you know, three, boom, gear four, boom. And when I dropped down, you know, same thing. Just like I was getting ready I was, I was, this is, I, bro, I can manifest like a motherfucker. Everything comes from the imagination. Everything comes from, like, before this microphone was a microphone, someone somehow thought about it. You know, how can I speak into something that would amplify my voice and blah, 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 and then 
this came out of it and it's evolved over the years but everything comes from the imagination so the power of the mind people don't understand we still don't understand i still don't understand how powerful it is i'm still learning but i know one thing is i can make things happen i can go into levels i just can't tell the world but like there's levels that like I've manifested things that I'm just like, I still shock myself, like, how the fuck did I make that happen? And this is not even to do with fighting, this is to do with my personal life. And I'm like, I made that happen. And this is through this like manifesting subconsciously as well. Just years of something just manifesting, manifesting, and boom, it's right there. I'm just like, shit, I really made that happen. It's scary, man. It's scary for me to even think about. You don't know where you're going. You're lost, you know what I mean? You have no direction. So for me, I felt like, both of them together, mm -hmm. uh, when, you, when you really, when you have the vision and you're able to manifest, but then you also put the work in, magic happens, man. Magic. That's where the magic is. But a lot of people never get there, unfortunately. A lot of people, are, we're blessed that we can dream. 